Well, new tonight, the state is investigating after a passenger flew 10 feet out of a mountain coaster cart in Sevier County Monday. According to a state report, the unnamed person suffered head, wrist and ankle injuries. As reporter Katie Emmett explains, this is not the first time a rider has gotten hurt on the outdoor Gatlinburg coaster. Riding through the pines on a Sevier County mountain coaster has plenty of twists and turns. For a person on the Gatlinburg mountain coaster Monday, though, it meant getting pretty hurt. This state report shows an unnamed rider flew 10 feet out of the cart and hit the track. The person suffered head, wrist and ankle injuries and was taken to an area hospital. The state office says it shut down the attraction and brought in a third party inspector to make sure the ride was up to industry standards. But that's not the first time this coaster has reported an injury on the ride. Let's look at a timeline. Back in July 2016, it shut down for 10 days after a woman was thrown from the cart. She had injuries to both wrists, a kneecap, head trauma, and broken ribs. That same day across town, a rider on the coaster at Goats on the Roof in Pigeon Forge suffered a broken arm after losing control on the track. Fast forward a month into August of 2016, a rider caused crash forced injuries at the Smoky Mountain Alpine Coaster. A couple of years later, in October of 2018, a woman fell out of the coaster at Anakista because she wasn't wearing a seatbelt. Even though these mountain coasters list safety precautions and many make visitors sign a safety waiver, if you get hurt, lawyers say you can still take legal action. They say waivers don't protect these attractions from injury lawsuits, but attorneys do have to get involved. In Sevier County, I'm Katie Inman. Now we've reached out to the coaster company in the city of Gatlinburg for a comment, but we haven't heard back yet.